was averaging more than 20 points coming off the bench with a real spark. What has been the key for you and your success? Um, you know, just staying in the gym and trying to, you know, just get up shots and, you know, stay consistent. Anything about the role coming off the bench? I mean, I know that's what you've been doing since you've been here, but just, you know, an opportunity to kind of change the way that the game is going. Do you thrive off of something like that? Um, you know, I'm confident, you know, um, throughout my past, you know, um, that was my goal, you know, just to come in, you know, be an impact on the team. And, you know, so this year, that being my role, I'm a lot happy with that. So just trying to come in and, you know, just have an impact on the game. How much does it help that you guys always say that you view it as, you know, you aren't a bench player, you're just kind of like that second wave? You know, we got a lot of guys who can come in and be impact. So, you know, I just try to be one of those guys, you know, helping the games. Uh, competition is going to step up a bit starting tomorrow and then especially through the next week. Uh, what, what do you guys as a team have to do to keep on going at the rate that you have been? Um, you know, just stay focused, keep practicing hard, you know, and as long as we practice hard, you know, just stay focused and, you know, just focus on the task at hand. We'll be all right. Does it seem like just a blink of an eye and you turn around and you go, hey, man, we've won, set, we're, we're, you know, we've got seven straight? Um, you know, we don't try to pay attention to that. We just try to look at the next game. You know, we got two big games coming up, Oklahoma State and Kansas. So, you know, we try to take one of the time. How long was that road trip for you guys? You know, happy are you to be back? Long. You know, seven days being away, not being home, hotels all the time. You know, it was long. But, you know, we back home already. How important is it to get these next couple of home after you know, winning a couple on the road like that? Um, you know, it's always good to protect home. You know, um, getting two big road games is big, but, you know, um, you always got to protect the house. And, you know, in this conference, you always want to take advantage when you got home games. So you want to get these out the way. How frustrating has it been to this team that, you know, at the rate that you forced turnovers, you've been giving it away just about as much? Yeah, you know, we've been, we've been turned over a lot this year. So, you know, we try to focus in, you know, dial in on that in practice and try to take care of the ball so it leads over the games. Is there something in particular that you're noticing when you watch tape or, you know, anything that's different from a year ago? Just we, we speeding up a little bit too much, you know, playing too fast sometimes, you know, causing turnovers and, you know, just not being smart with the ball. So, you know, got to just slow down a little bit and, you know, just be, be focused. We talked about that earlier in the year, but the difficulties of going from that fast-paced defense and then slowing it down offensively, how, how much is that still sort of a work in progress for this team? You know, playing so fast on defense and trying to, you know, get traps and get steals, you know, and then converting it to offense, you know, we have to slow down and run offense. It gets hard at times, you know, but, you know, we got a good point guard, so, you know, we just got to focus in, you know, just be smart with the ball. Will, OSU lost their leading score in Forte, but I mean, they still got a pretty solid backboard, don't they? Yeah, they got a pretty good team. You know, they call shoot the ball. You know, they got a real good freshman point guard. They got a lot of good shooters. You know, probably one of the better shooting teams we played all year without Forte or with Forte. So, um, you know, we just got to dial in and, you know, be ready for defense. What, was there ever a point before the season or early on where um, Coach Huggins talked to you about being a guy that could score the ball? Say again? Was there ever a point uh, before the season or early in the season that Coach Huggins and you had a conversation about being more aggressive in terms of scoring the ball? Um, you know, he told me to do that last year. You know, he always wanted me to be aggressive. You know, last year being so deep and, you know, um, the foul trouble I was in last year, you know, it was a little hard for me to, you know, come in and play that role. Which this two year, you know, a lot of the seniors is gone. So, lead on me a little more to, you know, take part in that. Was there a game this year where you knew you could do it consistently? Um, you know, I worked hard in the off season for this, you know, so um, I've always been working for this point, and, you know, now my, my time is here, so I'm just ready to play. Three-pointers were clearly part of your game last year, but now it seems that you're attacking the rim a little bit more. He said he kind of gave you the green light against Virginia up at the Garden to do that, but how much have you worked on that part of your game to be a little bit more versatile offensively? Um, you know, I try to get in the gym every day and work on attacking, you know, and just being more versatile, you know, and not just being labeled as a shooter, trying to be able to attack more, you know, open things up on the floor. So I just try to keep working on that and, you know, some of these over the games. Anybody in particular that you watch, you know, from the past? I know Huggins likes to be a historian with his own system and stuff, but anybody who you model your game after, whether it's a former Huggins player or somebody that you're just aware of? I mean, I don't really try to model my game after everybody. I watch a lot of NBA guys, you know, I try to just stick to what I could do. I try not to do what everybody else could do. I just try to stick to myself. But, um, I got a lot of my favorite players Kobe Bryant, but I don't really try to, you know, look, I try to stick to myself. Can you sense when the team needs somebody to drive the basket and maybe the offense is getting a little stagnant? Can you sense it now? Um, I feel like when I'm on the court, you know, I should be able to attack and, you know, do all those things. So, you know, I try to do that when I'm on the floor. Um, I would say I really sense it, you know, when, when it's there, it's there. When it's not, it's not. So I just try to drive when I'm open. And when it's not, I just try to get my team on the table. What's your mindset? Um, sitting on the bench and watching. What do you, how do you approach that? That you're not a starter, but you come in and got to provide. Um, you know, it's good sometimes. You know, you get to evaluate everybody on the floor. You know, you get to get a, a view of the game before you get to go in. You get to see what's going on, or you know, get, to, get a feel for it kind of before you enter the game. So, you know, it's cool. Have you done that before? Have you ever done that in your career? Um, not until I got here. Is it, it's different. I mean, you got to have a different mindset. And I know Hugs talks about it. he likes to have that pop coming off the bench. 
much. Yeah. Um, like and you I obviously said, give that. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a, it's a new mindset, I guess you could say that, or I don't know what you can call it, but um, I just try to just be ready to play. Do you have to approach it differently and mentally? Do you have to approach it when you do that coming off the bench? Um, like I said, you get to like I said, you get to evaluate and get a better feel for the game when you when you're sitting there for a minute and you know you're about to go right there and get thrown in the fire. So you know you get to look around and see what's going on. Do you sit with Tariq or I mean Tariq's another guy that comes off the bench. You guys sit right by each other. Do you? So you talk about things as the game's going. Yeah, you know, we going we going together, you know, it's like a one two punch with us too. So, you know, we go and we talk to each other and you know, point out some things before we go on the floor, and, you know, who we think we can go at or what's the weakness in defense or offense and we just go out there and play. I think that causes pro- lasting, causes problems with teams scouting report wise because you got to concentrate on so many guys and here's more guys that they got to. Yeah, you know we got a, um, a, a solid rotation. You know, like we, we always say all the time, you know, we might not have the best five, but we got might have the best ten. You know, so um, you know as long as we got the best ten on the court, you know, we can win games.